Hello, YouTube audience. So I have been needing to make this video for a while. You may have seen my DIY 87 Macro Keyboard video, followed up by the DIY 87 Macro Keyboard video, the sequel, where I use Intercept and Interception to do the second keyboard rather than using Lua Macros, and the trouble with Interception, as I later added to this description, is that sometimes it causes your peripherals to not even work at all. And some people had problems. You plug stuff in, you unplug stuff, and all your keyboards or some of your keyboards just stop working. Now, uh, I did a lot of digging, and it turns out, blah, 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 blah. The 10 device limit is an intentional part of the free license. It costs $2,200 to remove that limitation. So that sucks, but it's understandable because interception is basically a package of a whole bunch of really well-designed drivers for Windows and stuff. It's not really intended for such a simple use as, you know, uh, just having some extra macro keyboards. So uh, I tweeted this out and I was like, holy crap, I can only have basically four keyboards because here's the issue. All these devices, if I start unplugging my keyboards, more than one of these will disappear. My Corsair K95 keyboard actually uses four HID keyboard devices because of its macro supports and anti-ghosting. And one of these is even just my mouse. For people who are wanting to uninstall interception because it causes these problems, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. You know, I, I apologize to everyone who, uh, who installed this at my advice and then didn't realize, as I didn't realize, that there's a device limit. So literally do the same thing, but type in uninstall. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna follow my own tutorial. Windows key, type CMD. Right click on this, run as admin. Yes, okay. Uh, CD. I've already navigated to the correct folder, which is in here. I'm gonna take this, copy, take this over here and paste and enter, come on. Okay, there we go. And let's see, what's the next trick? Uh, command line installer. Okay, here's the next line. You can actually just copy this. Type in that, except uninstall. Okay, now here's the only problem that you're going to potentially run up against. Error deleting the keyboard.sys. Now, trust me when I say keyboard.sys is not a normal file. This is a file that was added when you installed Interception in the first place. I did make a backup of it on my own system, but you can do so as well if you don't trust this, but you can in fact go to System32 and just delete this. I know, I know all the memes about deleting System32. Where is System32? Windows? System32. Drivers, keyboard, there it is, okay. And now we try to delete it, and this might not work. Delete. Administrator permissions, yes. Cannot be completed because it's being used. Okay, this is what's incredibly annoying. Let's try renaming it. Now let's delete it. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I know you're not using it. It's named the wrong thing. Maybe if I move it. Okay, it's been moved. It's right here. Now let's delete it. Oh, that was easy. Let's try uninstalling again. Uninstall, enter. Come on, baby. Error deleting mouse. Ooh, I've never had that problem before. Let's look for mouse. Mouse. Let's, uh, let's make a backup of this. New folder. Backup of mouse. If my mouse stops working, I'ma be mad. And I'm just gonna move it into this folder. Yes. Okay, 
Let's try this again. Uninstall. Error deleting keyboard driver key. What the hell is that? I think because I'm on the newer version. Well, what's the keyboard driver key? It's not even telling me where it is. Boy, this has gotten more complicated. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna restart my machine and then try this straight away. Okay, computer started back up. Paste that. Slash uninstall. Do you want to do this? Yes. Uh, did it work? It might not have installed correctly. Wait a minute. Do I not have an administrator command prompt? Paste. There we go. Okay, I wasn't using an administrator command prompt. This is why that's important. You got two options. Install and uninstall. Slash uninstall. Error deleting keyboard driver key. Damn it. Uh, oh, my, uh, my macros are working. Let's see if this other keyboard works. Let's see if this one works. Let's see if my fourth one works. Let's see if the Logitech G15 works. My god, it all works. What the hell did I do? Was it just from removing keyboard, just the file, the keyboard file? Okay, now we have to find, oh, you know what? I think I know, I think that intercept.exe is not going to work now. Let's find out. Interception drive not loaded. Okay. So as soon as you delete the keyboard.sys file, you get all of your keyboards able to work again. But then of course your macros stop working. Error deleting keyboard driver key. Let's Google that. Compiling. He's just trying to compile. Huh, so I can install. Let's try to see if I uninstall. Interception uninstalled. Oh. Huh. Okay, so it turns out that the, uh, the, the answer for how to uninstall interception is to delete keyboard.sys and mouse.sys from your system32 drivers. I know it sounds sketchy as hell. Um, and then go in here with an administrator command prompt um, and then try to install it again. It'll install and then you uninstall and then you will bypass the error deleting keyboard driver key. All right. So I'm now going to restart my machine and see if interception is indeed completely gone. They all work. All my four keyboards work. Oops, I accidentally opened Premiere. Okay, uh, what won't work is this. And that's because Interception, probably, I guess, has been totally uninstalled. So, my computer is now just a normal computer. Okay, now for part two. Trying to get past the 10 device limit. Barrier. Woo. Now, uh, some people have told me here, this guy, he said, well, maybe you could go here and change literally just this one line. Change that 10 to a, to a 100 or whatever, and maybe you could get past the limit. And the guy who made the software, he says that, yeah, you can try to do that, but it might cause instability problems. Now, again, I don't care about all the extra super fancy stuff this can do. I just want to be able to plug in keyboards and have them work. Interception.h, it's in your library. What I'm trying to do right now, and I still don't know if this works, is just change this 10 to a 100. So now I'm going to reinstall Interception, just because I need it. And also I'm going to try to see if changing this to a 100 is gonna have any effect at all. We will find out. You know what? I'm gonna change it to a 99. I think that might be a little bit more stable. Maybe it's only expecting two digits. Okie dokie, uh, just gonna install Interception like I've shown all of y'all before. That's it. And it worked. Okay, now this won't work, but let's just try to run this tool. 
Okay, not loaded yet. All right. So uh, after this, we'll see if my little hack worked at all. Damn it. Ah, oh, my Corsair K95 macros don't work. Device manager. How many keyboards do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's try seeing what happens when we unplug the G15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine! Yes, the G15 takes up three keyboard devices. My macro keys on the Corsair K95 still do not work. However, they will work if I restart my machine now. So, conclusion time. Changing this number uh, did not fix my problem. I'm still limited to 10 devices. And if I unplug and replug a keyboard to the point where the refreshed devices, I think, gets over 10, then that keyboard or another keyboard stops working. And I think that the answer is to modify this keyboard.sys file. I don't know how, I don't know what to do. Um, when you delete it, all your keyboards go back to normal, so that's nice. Um, but obviously you need it in order to get, you know, all your macros and things working. So if someone would please just help me and uh, just here's some more information. Uh, I don't know, I wrote down some stuff here. I got some links. Um, fancy solutions. Both of these use a hook and a raw input in order to figure out which keyboard the information is coming from. However, I think both of these will tell you that it uh, has problems. Let's see, yeah, hook message missing, raw input is missing, so uh, this guy has an even fancier solution. He says the same thing. He says in this post back here, combining the keyboard hook with raw input, he said that this doesn't work and that there's a better way. And then he says, let's go to the driver level. And then it's like, here's all this insane crap that you need. You have to know how to do all this crap, all this crap. I don't know how to do this stuff. I have no idea. But this probably works. I mean, he says that it works, right? So presumably I could, you know, take a year of programming and then know how to do this. So the only other solution that uses drivers is Obletum Interception, which of course I already use. And the only problem, aside from it being a pain in the ass to set up in the first place, is of course that 10 keyboard device limit. So again, if someone could just help me out here, Help me find a way to get past this little limit. I think it's in the keyboard.sys file as well. I'm not sure if it's possible. Again, this nice person offered to help. He had a couple of ideas. He tried them out. I talked to him later and he said he couldn't get it working. So anyone's help is so very greatly appreciated. You know? It's uh, really annoying to not be able to plug anything into your computer because all your stuff will just stop working and you have to restart. So uh, that's, that's it for this, for this episode. And I hope that there will be a part four where I have the good news that the 10 keyboard device limit has been solved. But uh, until then, we shall see. If any of y'all... Want to help me? Bye-bye.